Today I'm going to be changing the chain on my True Cut P20. My P20 has been throwing the chain and not working right. So I found out that the chain is stretched, so I've ordered new ones. Okay, first you have to take the chain cover off. Okay, now that we get the chain cover off, we have to find the master link on the drive chain which is right there I don't know if you can see it, it's got this little clip okay now you gotta take a screwdriver and your needle nose and you you pry up on that chain clip and then it comes off see right there then you you have to pull this one outside piece off too it just pops right off with your screwdriver see right there then you pull the chain off the power drive there's the chain Okay, we've got our new chains here that we ordered in 10 foot sections from Amazon. Uh, number 40 for the main drive and a number 41 for the wheel drive. And then I had to buy a uh, heavy duty chain breaker. This one has great reviews online from, I bought this from Harbor Freight. So now, we're going to uh, measure the old chain exactly links and we're going to cut the new chain. Like I said, here's the old main drive chain. So we want to make the new chain the exact length, even though this one's worn. So to, you got to count the links 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, here's our new number 40 chain that we've got from Amazon. It comes with a new master link and it's 10 foot. And like I said, we're going to have to cut that to 25 links. Here's my new chain buster that I got from Harbor Freight. It looks real heavy duty, so it looks like it'll work really good. Okay, I just opened the chain. It's a heavy duty chain and it came very well greased. Okay, we gotta count the lengths of the old chain and cut the new one exactly because the old one is stretched. But the new one will be the exact same length, it'll just go in there tighter. So there's starting at the open one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and the 26th link is where we bust one of the rivets. Okay, I counted the chain, we got it in the rivet buster right there. See right there? I'm going to count it again before I cut it, I don't want to waste no chain. Okay, now we take our adjustable wrench, we tighten this one part down to the rivet. And we tighten the top. Okay, now I got it back lined up again. I hope it stays on there. I'm going to start cranking down. Hopefully it'll bust the rivet. At least the rivets are in there good. 
keep adding the second one on the top one. Looks like it's pushing the rivet through now. Yeah, it's pushing it through. Okay, it has knocked the pin out now. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, let me move the camera. There's the pin. It knocked it out really well. And there we have it, our, our new chain 26 links cut ready to go here's the master link and the lock snap ring that comes with the new chain that's good you want to use that that way it's not wore out okay now we're going to take the the new chain and put it on the drive motor drive and the clutch Okay, put that outside piece of the link back on there. It snaps on there. Then you're gonna take the lock ring and slide it back in there. It's got a little key on there. screwdriver and push it down okay and that's it it's on there okay see how nice looking that chain is it's a nice thick one and like I said it's all on there now all I gotta do is adjust the motor now to leave a half inch slack in the chain okay to adjust the slack you only want a half inch slack in the chain that's what all the forms and the manual says so you had to take you have to take the four bolts loose on the motor and you have to move it around so you get this at a half inch you don't want it too loose because it'll make all kinds of racket and the chain will fall off I say that's good right there now I'm going to tighten the motor. Okay, the motor has four bolts. And you got to put a wrench on the top and then the socket on the bottom. The two front ones are kind of hard to get to, but it's okay. You got to tighten those down there if you get the chain set to half an inch uh, slack. Okay, new chains are put on. It's all lubricated. Now we're going to put the cover back on the chains. Raise the handles up some. We can get it in there. Slide it over the chains. The handle up there and get this cover on. Cover goes right there, like that. Then I'll go just put two bolts here and one in the back. 